about the solar system, the planets, the moons, and the sun. This plate of planets is going to act like our solar system, and these foods could possibly be the planets, since we are going to choose some of them that resemble the uniqueness of each planet and add them on this plate in a specific order so this plate acts like the solar system. Let's start with the sun. The sun is not a planet. It's a middle-sized star, but it's too massive compared to our solar system, which means we need something big. And we can't take the lemon since it's too small. And we can't take the honeydew since it's yellow. And the sun is actually white, if you believe it or not. The sun looks white since the atmosphere makes stuff look warmer. And from white comes yellow or orange. So we need something white and big. And the mozzarella cheese is white and big, but it's still a little small. And we could take the cabbage. Let's take the cabbage. It's pretty white and it's big. Our next stop is Mercury. Mercury is too small to have an atmosphere. And it's gray, so we need something gray or white and small. And the blueberries and blue, as it says in its name. And the olive is brown. That could work, but it's a little big. We can take the hazelnut. It's a little white and yellow, but it's also small. Next, we're going Venus. Venus is very hot. It's actually the hottest planet. It is yellowish and it has a very thick atmosphere. That's actually the reason it's very hot. You're probably asking yourself what an atmosphere is. Well, an atmosphere is, acts like a blanket around a planet. It takes and keeps heat in the planet and doesn't let anything out. So we need something spicy, since that's what like spicy represents heat a little. So we need something spicy and the only yellow food is a lemon and that's way too big and not spicy, it's more sour. So let's just concentrate on the spicy part. Um, we could take the radish since it's spicy. So let's add that. Next, we're going to our home, the Earth. It's the only known planet with life on it. And it's 70% water and 30% land. But there's not a lot of blue food. So we concentrated on the green. And um, the lemon is way too big. Um, and the lime is also way too big. We could take the falafel. Since on the inside it's green, but on the outside it's brown, which we could imagine is the crust. The last terrestrial planet is Mars. A terrestrial planet is a planet made out of stone. Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars are all terrestrial planets. So Mars is red and it has huge mountains. It actually has the biggest mountain in our solar system. So. But there's not a lot of food with like spikes that could act like mountains. So we need something red. Oh, obviously, the tomato. The tomato is red, obviously. And so we need a tomato around as big as the Earth because Mars is almost as big as the Earth. So a little smaller. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So these were the terrestrial planets. Next, we're going to the gas planets. The first planet also the biggest planet is Jupiter. Its colors are brown, white, orange, and yellow. So we need something with a lot of warm colors. Um, the coconut works, but it doesn't show all the colors that well. The onion works very well actually, since onion, this onion it, it has all the colors. So let's add that. Next, we have the first planet with rings on it. It's Saturn. So Saturn is yellowish-orangish. 
and it has a ring made out of ice and stone. So I need something yellowish and orangish, and then we and then we bought a bagel so we can put it around the yellowish orangish food, and then that will act like the ring. We need also something that can fit into the bagel. Um, the meatball is not yellow. The lemon is too big. We can take the this. It's pretty yellowish and orangish, and then we're going to peel it so it fits into the so it fits into the bagel. And Saturn is actually also the least dense planet. It is actually one of the most um, planets with a lot of facts. Like it's very big and it has a lot of rings and it's the least dense planet. It's actually my favorite planet. So let's add the them into the ring. Oh, it doesn't fit. So we'll just put the ring over it and that'll act like sound. Our next stop is Uranus. Uranus is blue. I like blue, actually. And it got flipped over, or that's what scientists think. And that's why it, its ring looks up and down like that. So we need something blue and we're not going to put the ring. So we need something blue. Um, blue. There's not a lot of blue food. There's only purple. Then we take the light purple, which we could take this turnip. It's pretty purple. And yeah. And we'll add it like that. So it's like facing to the side, just like around it. Our last destination is Neptune. Neptune is a very boring planet, actually. It's almost like Uranus. It didn't get flipped over and it does not have a ring. And it's also blue, um, but we don't have any blue stuff. So we'll take something purple again. We could take this potato. Since the onion is too big and Neptune is smaller than Uranus, and this is a little smaller, so we'll add this. The previous four planets were the gas planets, and gas planets are planets that are made out of gas. A common question is, why didn't we add the moons here? Well, there are so many moons we can't even add them. Like for example, Jupiter has 67 moons. The next question is, why are all the planets round? Well, each planet has a center of gravity. It's like when gravity is when stuff gets pulled to the ground. So let's say I have a center of gravity here and everything gets pulled to it. Then it will become a circle. Since if it's a square or flat, there's nothing here and it's too much here. Um, Actually, the sun is in the middle, and all the planets should go around it, and the sun sits in the middle and just burns everything around it. If you liked this episode and want to know more, you can ask me about something you are curious about, and I will work on an answer for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below to support this channel, and go to my channel at Gut Learning to see more of my own work. You can also find me soon on TikTok and Instagram, under Ask Hassan for HC under 20.